This morning, Eamon got six eggs for breakfast. Don't say it like that. Eamon's it was a mistake, a but I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. It was a mistake, but he's happy about it. And we have decided that we will keep on going. Everyone's left now. We've all gone back. No one here. But um, we're gonna keep trucking. And hopefully the snow melts. And uh, we make it to Bo Jovi. You guys leaving? Oh, yeah, I hope I don't get blocked right now. Stopped in La Barma for a tea. Um, it took us double the amount of time we thought it would, so I guess the snow um, makes it a little more difficult. Another three hours until we get to Metro Metro Mo. And um, yeah, we'll see what, what the deal is up there. Three and a half, four hour walk, and we made it to Metro Mo. Nice little town. We were saying if, if it was clear views, it would be amazing. So hopefully tomorrow will clear up. In the middle of the night. Good morning. They're gonna come in with in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. Anyway. Um yeah, it's uh it's looking alright out there. Not quite as foggy as yesterday, but still a bit overcast. It is mucho frío. <coughs> Around eight o'clock. Uh, we've had breakfast, just about to brush the teats, and then we have a four hour walk up to Gokyo. Gokyo. Oh, it's a Gokyo. Which is gonna be like 4,800 meters. I woke up in the middle of the night gasping for air, so. Dreaming of food and fruit. So much fruit dreams. And seven layer dip. Ooh. Mom, seven layer dip. <laughs> I miss it. Um, that's all I got to report to you now. And we'll check in with you in a bit. So in Gokyo, there's six main lakes. We finally made it to the first one. You can see that it is a little aqua, but I'm sure when you get higher up, it really starts to reflect the color. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little spot. <laughs> the sun is so strong that when you like wash your face and put lotion on it, it stings so bad. Oh yeah? Yeah. So I'm currently in the process of just healing my face from the day. Crying like a little girl. I didn't even mean to, it just comes out. Let's wait till it's your turn. Uh -huh. So we just made the rookie mistake of not checking the toilet before we unpacked our stuff. Um, there's just three different types of toilets in here in Nepal. There's a standard American where you can sit down, which is my personal favorite. Then there's a squatter, which is basically a hole in the ground, which is the second best. Then there's that, which you have to awkwardly squat over but at a high enough angle that it kills your legs. Anyway, not having a good time anymore. There's a mouse in our house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so genuinely terrified because I think it's in... It's my, right underneath? Yeah, I think it's right under here or in my bag. Oh, it's in your bag. What? That's terrifying. Give it a little shake. I think it might be in the next room. Yeah? Or in the walls. Oh, I'm not lifting my bag up. That's all I know. Oh, you're not. <laughs> I'm not even a quarter way up. I just had a poop scapade on the side of the mountain. And there were two trekkers coming in that full on saw me. So I'm feeling a little embarrassed, but 
you gotta do what you gotta do, right? What's wrong, babe? I'm just having a rough time this morning. Yeah. With snot and everything, you know? She can't feel her hands. And the views aren't great. <coughs> Over there you can see a glacier. Gokyo down there. And that big patch is supposed to be a lake, but it's all frozen over. Down here, babe, I always keep a toilet paper in the same spot. Not in there, that's money. Toilet paper's in here. Um, we're about halfway. So, I, so at Gokyo, the oxygen percentage is 57%. So 50%, 57% of the oxygen that you would normally have at sea level, which is 100%. Um, for those who don't know what that feels like, it's basically you take 15, 20 steps and your heart is pumping through your lungs, so you can definitely feel it. And uh, at the top of the mountain, it's at 50%. So what is it, 5,000 meters? 5,300 meters. That's pretty steep. So we'll keep going just to finish, but I don't think the views will be any good. We are now standing on top of Gokyo Ri with me, Rebecca, Nawang Sherpa. And we are on top of the world, eh, Nawang? <laughs> the view is just incredible today. Full panoramic view. <clears throat> Getting down is going to be the hard part, yeah? Feeling better, babe. Visibility's gotten a lot worse. Becca's not happy with her North Fake equipment. Shanti, Shanti. We make our way down. I've had two big slips, more like tumbles, where I nearly slid down the whole mountain. And Becca's had about 10 bum slips. So I'd say she's in the lead. Yuri. Summit complete. Views not so good. Maybe we try again tomorrow. I guess it all depends on the weather, so we have to find out what's going on with Ranger La Pass as well. Yay! Looks like a nice day out. Ranger La tomorrow! Back to Namche. Okay, so today we're going round two Gokyo Ri, and it's much be more beautiful day. Ain't that right? It's very good. Nice day. Yeah. Nice. Shanti, Shanti, and uh, we vamos. Adios. Okay, see you in a couple hours. So hopefully we'll get a view. So, attempt number two, not so great. We didn't make it up in time. The clouds started coming in. We're about halfway up. We're just chilling now. Okay, so the last time you probably saw me, I was being a huge brat, crying, and having a really hard time on Gokyo Ri, but we're really stoked that we did it, and we summited, and we made it to a place that a lot of people were turning back from. So, we've spent about a day leaving Gokyo now, gone to Dole, and now we are walking back to Namche. We are waiting for the clouds to clear, because that right there is Everest. 6 a.m. We're finally leaving Kumbu region. I don't know if you can tell, but the runway is like a slope. And I think the hardest part's over. We already got here. Taking off should be a breeze. But it's still a pretty intimidating flight. 
Can't wait to be back in Kathmandu. Thank you, sir. Can I come sit in the front? No. No? Next time, okay? 